towards half foot on the outer side. Silvani getting the front berth has taken the mark. But Silvani showing them off. Amazing pace. No nonsense sort of guy, but I mean, people respected him. And one of the things with coaching or captaining or being a good player, a leader, you know, you, you sort of can't demand respect. You command it, and he commanded uh, respect from all his teammates, and that's so. And that's something that you've got to really earn. Sergio Silvani, to me, epitomised what a legend of the Carlton Football Club is. Played in two premierships, captain the club, won the best and fairest twice. And he also did a magnificent job in producing uh, further champions for the club. You can't do much better than that in the eyes of the Carlton faithful. And Carlton are going in harder with Silvani right in the thick of the battle. We had a, a young kid who was playing in the Carlton under-19s. I think he was concreting on Saturday mornings. And uh, when he first arrived, uh, we had this strong, uh, you know, uh, Italian kid who was uh, playing centre-half forward with us. That, uh, was just so strong and smart that uh, he got the ball and uh, he could kick it a mile. And he didn't always know where he was going to go, but his torpedoes, his, uh, his punts, but uh, he was just a good player. The Rassi is outmarked, beaten badly by uh, Silvani. I was about 12 years of age and Carlton were playing Essendon first game of the year in 1959. Sergio Silvani was playing full forward, local boy, and he uh, kicked six goals and I marked them all down in my book. After the game, you'd be able to run on the ground and get the autograph. So I decided then he was my favourite Carlton player. Silvani wins a keenly contested mark to still a dangerous thrust. Serge got the best out of himself. His tackling was fantastic and he was faster than what he looked. To me, he represented Carlton. He was such a team player. And when you played alongside him, he would sacrifice his game, in particular, in regards to myself, you know, <laughs> there was that big bulky uh, long sleeve jumper there that was shepherding pathway had opened up a lot of times, always blocking, always working for the team. That was his ethos. The kick up toward the end of the 10 yards where they fly, no result from the pack. It was pushed out there by Silvani, he's still following the ball up, aimed it very strongly. He was just smart, a smart footballer, no matter where he played and what position. He seemed to know what to do, and uh, he mightn't have looked the best with his socks down and his bandy legs and things, but uh, he was football smart. That's half the battle nowadays, and it's all it has been. You know, you play uh, with what ability you've got, but you also play with your brains, and Serge had, was very good in that area. They talk about leadership groups in today's game. He was exactly what Ron Barassi needed when he came as an inexperienced coach to rely on Silvani to uh, guide the rest of the players. Silvani takes a good defensive mark near the square to turn the Dons back. He played well in the grand finals in 68. On 70, he played very well. Silvani lands his first goal. He performed when it counted. Collingwood pulls out all stops in the time on period. But Silvani turns them back. It was a wonderful part of my life because Serge was uh, far from being a great friend and uh, Serge and Root, he was such a good player and, uh, you know, and obviously a, a great clubman. Apart from his playing and supporting and being, you know, a captain and, you know, his, his coaching roles around the club, it's, it's great and uh, it's just wonderful that uh, Sauce is back and hopefully young Jack can get, come along too and, and just can keep it going. But Serge, uh, Sergio is... Thoroughly deserves being a legend because that's what he is.